So, good afternoon. Thank you for being here. I'm Borja Gonzalez Bilbao, and I'm the stadium business manager in Athletic Club. So, I'm going to try to explain you some strategies uh, around fan experience and also around revenue management in our stadium, uh, San Mames. Uh, First of all, if I want you, if I want you to understand uh, any project in Athletic Club, I have to explain you first who we are, firstly, because I think it's important to understand the how we face all the projects. Well, those uh, images uh, are of the Old San Mames Stadium. We have been living there for a hundred years. Uh, so that's a fact we can not forget in any decision we, we, we take in the, in the future. Uh, where? Where we are? We are in the Basque Country. Basque Country is a small country between Spain and, and, and France. Uh, with a strong identity, with the, its own language, it's the oldest language in, in Europe, uh, and we have our own culture and, and our history. Yes, here uh, in, uh, in the Basque Country, the, 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 the pride, the respect, the identity is so important in the, in the society, uh, and so do the gastronomy, in, another, in the other hand. So. Bilbao is the largest city of the of the Basque Country and is the capital of the of the province. Um, I will try to explain why it is said that Athletic Club is different. I know I, I think that all the clubs are different and also uh, we are different uh, for uh, some uh, concrete things. Um, I will start with a very fast uh, review of our history. We were established in 1898. We are one of the founding uh, clubs of, of La Liga. We have never been relegated to second division and members always has, uh, have owned the, the, the club. But perhaps the most important uh, thing in all these years is the fact of being competing uh, for more than uh, 100 years just with Basque players. Um, well, that does uh, turn Athletic Club in a, in a very potent symbol of, of, of pride, of, of unity and identity. Because of, of the way of, of uh, thinking about football, or because of the way of doing things. Uh, well, what are, what are we talking about when we talk about philosophy? We're talking about uh, competing just with Basque players or players training in the Basque teams, just with schools. So we have um, a very small market to purchase, uh, around 3.2 million inhabitants, the same size as city of Liverpool. So we are pl playing and competing against the world just with uh, city, you know. Uh, we are talking about um, betting for just the schools and players, logic. And we are talking about being a club and not a not, um, public limited company. So the club cannot be bought. Uh, and the members have the last word in several decisions. Um, so we can say that um, we have another way 
of competing, where to maintain the philosophy and the way of doing things is important. And for us, winning is not everything. We have been without winning any championship for 35 years, and the amount of supporters have been growing all this time. So I think it is because um, we are not uh, talking about only football. Um, in Bilbao, everybody is fan of the club, even if you don't like the uh, uh, football, you support the club. Um, in Bilbao, people have a second team, you know, it's just athletic. So I think the link between the club and the territory is uh, very big. Well, some uh, notes about uh, what do they say about us. Uh, uh, L'Equipe say that we were a unique in the world. The Guardian Athletic can teach a lot uh, to many companies about bricks of taking innovation. And Xavi Hernandez said, it's a pity I could not play for Athletic Club. Um, well, 20 uh, out to 25 players of the first team come from our academy. And we have 44,000 uh, members. Well, the amount of members is not important. The important fact is being owners of the of the club um, yes well we have uh, in our history we have win a lot of a lot of trophies but as i said before this is not the most important thing for 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 us the last championship was in 2015 well we were in all summer uh, it was built in 1913 so it was a hundred years old stadium when it was demolished. A World Cup was uh, playing it, um, and it was an urban stadium. So there was a very concrete liturgy around football in this stadium. Uh, it was English style stadium, and the atmosphere was uh, so special. Um, it was. Uh, an icon of football. It was called uh, the Cathedral of Football, and even the, the rivals uh, used to say that uh, they liked it to, to play there because you could smell football. So let's see how was the beginning of a, of a match in the old San Mames. background, um, it's not easy to face a project of a new stadium and, and some challenges uh, arise. Basically, the new stadium had to transmit uh, our particular values, uh, transfer the old Samames traditions, and it has to be a modern stadium. Uh, when we think about how it would be used, um, the new stadium, we understand that the revenue management should always be aligned with the fine experience and beyond. What I want to say is um, that we should offer facilities, service, or technology to the fans to enlarge the experience, um, but develop business, businesses around those uh, experiences. Uh, the work shame in our case is cyclic. It never ends. I mean, um, we uh, analyze users' needs. We take care of every detail in fan experience. We offer uh, added, ser added uh, value services, and then we build business units to earn revenues for the club. And again, we analyze uh, user needs, and cyclically, we do the same. Um, well, for example, one of the most important traditions um, in the old stadium was to, the way to go to the stadium. So the location became basic. 
Uh, we used to go to the stadium by this street, Pothas Street, plenty of taverns. Uh, so we think uh, that we had to build the stadium in the same place at the old stadium. So we have an opportunity. Bilbao Exhibition Center was moved outside the city, um, leaving a plot of land close to the stadium. This plot of, of land, sorry. So we built the stadium uh, in, the, in the same place at the, at the old stadium as a part of a new uh, Bilbao, but in the same place. Well, the new Bilbao, you can say that we have the old part, then we have the Isosaki Towers, the Guggenheim Museum, the Tower, the uh, Congress Center, and then the last part of the new Bilbao, that is the new stadium. And the result is a new stadium in the same location with the people going to the a stadium by the same street, going to the same taverns, going to the same shops, uh, going uh, to the same restaurants. Uh, well, in the old stadium, the closeness and the atmosphere were, were, were features that uh, of the old stadium, and, uh, and we have to keep uh, in the new one. So, so, so we did it. Uh, we put the, the seats very close to the pits. We did. The, the stands very vertical. We uh, built a cover pointing to the center of the pitch to bring the noise to the center of the pitch. Mm. Uh, and then we have a new stadium uh, with 53,000 seats. Uh, 3,000 of them are VIP seats. That, that means 13,000 seats more than in the old stadium. But also we have 10,000 members more than uh, in the old stadium. So uh, let's see how we build uh, the new stadium.
result, uh, the result is a first class stadium. Uh, here you have the, the tunnel, some accesses, mixed strong. And one important thing that we have been the first in, I think we are the first in, in La Liga in installing rail seats, seats for safe standing, um, to allow the liveliest uh, um, supporters to remain standing, but singing, jumping, but uh, throwing the, the game, but without risking the safety or the, or the safety of, of people around. Well, that's our new stadium. In short, we have the, uh, been awarded like, the best sports building in, uh, in 2015 and venue of the year in 2017. Um, I think we've, we have reached the, the spirit or the level of spirit of, of, of the old stadium. I'm going to show you the first, the, the, image, the images are not very good, but it's the first, um, the first match in the new stadium. vestuarios, uno siente las vibraciones del corazón en la tierra de el corazón por ese color a casi agobiante, ahora que llega el sonido desde fuera del estadio, desde la grada hacia ese interior del túnel de vestuarios, sin duda alguna Michael debe ser una sensación tremendamente especial para los jugadores Tremendo Ricardo, el ambientazo de San Mamés Gritos de Atlética, Atlética ahora para recibir a los jugadores que responden con una ovación al público de San Mamés a... Well, so now we have the stadium, we have to make money with, with, with it. And for us, even the commercialization was a challenge. Uh, why do I say that? Um, I said that because uh, we have to earn revenues, as everybody, but we have to respect athletic lab rules. What does it mean? Uh, I mean, that it means that uh, we know that the revenue it's easier to earn if you put the stadium out of the city, but uh, I'm far from the shops or, or the bars, and you know. But if we want to respect users' habits, we have to build the stadium in the city center or in the same place as the, as the old. It means also that uh, a versatile stadium gives you more money possibilities than a football stadium, but we wanted to respect the tradition. So we built a football stadium and then we began doing things to earn revenues. And it means that we have to keep our values, respect the members' feelings and be aware of the, of the territory. But of course, we want to do things, so we are going to uh, host the, the Euro 2020. We have hosted the finals of uh, Champions Cup and Challenge Cup of, uh, of rugby last year. Um, we had concerts, for example, last year we had host MTV Awards in, in the stadium. Uh, we do fan parks, events. Uh, we have a, um, a very big screen outside the stadium to exploit. Uh, we have a sports center and we have a, a pool of 50 meters inside the, the, the stadium. We have a mega store and we have a museum. The museum uh, is uh, one of the keys in giving traffic of public in non match days to the, to the stadium. Pedro, Los Ángel, Miquel, Jesús, John, Aitor. Descubre un club con nombre propio. José Mari, Carlos, Ander, Chechu, Joseba, Manu, Carmelo, Iraya. Un viaje a través de nuestra historia. Ainoa, Íñigo, Ramón, Ana, Matilde, Arich, Manolo. 
Siente la emoción de San Mamés. Un sentimiento del que formas parte. Recuerda lo que eres. Enseña lo que amas. Yes, the claim is something like uh, remember what you are, so what you love. Uh, well, when we talk um, before of analyzing user needs. Um, in order to do it, we should know exactly who uh, are our users and how they behave. Why I say, I say this? Because until now, we have 46,000 members, season ticket holders, who could transfer his physical card to anyone. So as a club, we only know or we only knew that the car has passed through the turnstile, but we didn't know who done it. Therefore, we have not identified uh, real user profiles. Uh, so we had a lot of questions. Who they are? What do they do? How can we improve and ensure how can we enlarge the, their experience? So what we did is to try to improve their user experience, user experience and at the same time uh, collect data and generate knowledge, relying on the digital world. So we have made available to the members an app on which we buy all the service and content we want to offer, but which mainly identifies and records the user's activity. It allows us to, uh, not us, the user, to um, access to the stadium and also to give his ticket to whoever he wants, but whoever receives, it must identify himself if he wants to go into the stadium. So now we know who is in the stadium and how is behaving. Well, another example is the, the concessions that uh, um, uh, in last year we have a new business model with a new offer and technology. Uh, um, I'm going to tell it fast because we have done physically functional bars focused in on increasing the sales, but also to offer correctly the, the product and uh, focus also in the comfortability of barmans to get uh, more services in less time. Yeah. And we have a specific APP uh, for ordering food and beverage, where you can order and pay and then you can pick it up by a fast track or you can, we can deliver it to the, to the seat. We have a fine dining restaurant, we have a tavern, something like a sports bar Bilbao style, also open to the public every day, also the, the fine dining restaurant. Uh, and we have hospitality uh, area on match days, that it was a very new thing for us, because in the old stadium we, we hadn't, and it was a very good opportunity to enlarge the fun experience in our stadium. But uh, we had, remember, we had to respect athletic club rules, as I mentioned before. Uh, let's see. Uh, for example, uh, how we respect our members when, when we sell uh, the VIP seats or the premium seats, the members are in the top. They, are the, they have priority to select those, those seats and then the companies or sponsors and you know. Uh, what can we bring to the development of the territory? Well, we match uh, our strategy with the tourist agencies of the government, and we have the goal of uh, becoming a new touristic reference in the city, and we are, we are reaching it. So, and finally, how can we integrate the territory with the stadium? Uh, at the beginning, I have said also the gastronomy is so important in, in the Basque Country. Uh, well, um, 
what we did, uh, we thought that it could be a good idea to unify gastronomy in the stadium and give visibility to the gastronomy of the territory. Uh, so we have created the Gastronomic Cathedral and uh, we have put in it chefs, organizations, government, producer, producers and academies. Um, so every project we face in the new stadium has uh, the gastronomy as one of its references. The first one was to create athletic club uh, team of chefs. We have a deal with every Michelin star uh, in the territory, totally 11 Michelin stars. Uh, two of them are also in the uh, 50 best restaurants list in the world. So uh, they cook together every match in the VIP area and the hospitality area of Samames. Let's see. Gastronomic Cathedral. Um, another important, for me, is one of the most important things in fun experience is the space, the, the physical space. Uh, you, you have to, 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 to pull the experience and to enlarge the experience through the space. So we have used the hospitality areas as a tool of transmission of our values and of our history. So there are two parts, the fun functional part that is important, and uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, rooms, uh, all of them are connected. Well, we have um, restaurants, we have um, uh, um, the museum, we have everything connected inside the stadium, the, the store, the spaces for events, uh, VIP boxes. Uh, well, we, we also have uh, a model of kitchens that uh, allows us to, to give events uh, at the same time in the stadium. We have six kitchens all around the, the, the stadium. Um, but for me, the most important thing in the physical uh, building of uh, spaces is the emotional, the emotion, the emotional parts. Um, four goals in, in this uh, emotional part of, of building in the spaces. Respect the overall consistency with the stadium project. Of course, trust me that the, the club's uh, values uh, contribution to the identity because it's very important for us. And also expand the user experience. Well, what we do is those kind of sp spaces. You can say. I'm gonna pass it fastly, but you know. All of them saying something about about us, about our values or of the history. Well, so now we are going to, to see how is an experience in a match day in San Mames VIP area.
Well, um, so we wanted to make the outside also attractive, so we switched on the the stadium. We can we can project uh, in a, a very big LED screen in the outside of the stadium. We've got project whatever we we want. So I'm gonna show you. How Well, as, as you have seen, uh, all the stadium is, in fact, a very big screen. So now I'm going to finish. I'm going to let you with a video just to show you how we transmit the soul of the old stadium to the new stadium and what things we do in uh, match days and also in not match, not match days. <laughs> That's all. Thank you very much to everybody.